in the course of testing, we tested, as you can imagine, everything. We tested the top of the funnel stuff, middle of the funnel stuff, the checkout flow. And what we realized was that in all of our testing, the testing on the product page seemed to have the biggest impact on conversion rates. And if you really think about it, it totally makes sense. So the product page is where the user is essentially telling us that, look, you have my attention. I've seen all the products that you have on your website, but this product right here, the one that I'm on right now is the one I'm most interested in. Therefore, for me as a marketer, my job is cut out on the product page. I need to put together a convincing argument for why this product is the best in the world and I have to present it to the reader in a way that is believable and if I do then the put the user is going to buy so the product page is where the crucial buy or no buy decision is taking place there's one other thing to kind of mention here as well is that if you really think about your funnel you'll realize that while all the pages of the website are accessible and can be travel to by the visitor beyond the product page the user has to now start giving up their credit card information so it is the final stage of the window shopping experience and so the marketer has to really really knock the ball out of the park on the product page and this is why product pages matter so much When we came to the realization that product pages matter a lot, we did it through testing, but we still weren't sure about what elements of the product page were actually having the biggest impact on conversion rates. And so we, we had tested, you know, drawing attention to reviews, social proof. We had tested the, uh, you know, how many product images to show, product videos, all of that stuff. And all of them played a role, but we also tested product descriptions. And here we found massive correlations with test outcomes. And that's when we kind of came to the conclusion that not only does a product page matter the most, within the product page, it's a product description that seems to be having the biggest correlating factor to conversion rates. And so when we got into product descriptions, we realized that most descriptions were very short and to the point, and they were really talking about features and benefits. And so we started experimenting with different types of communicating the, the details about the product. And that's kind of how we stumbled on product stories. And a product story is a beautiful and very powerful idea. And what it simply means is that it is a special type of story that has been created so that the visitor falls in love with your invention and buys it. And the purpose of the product story is to improve conversion rates. And so what we concluded through this entire testing process was the product description is the biggest determining factor for purchase intent. And so we do all of our testing within the product description. <laughs>